The man himself, raising the bar as an inspiration for others. What do you think of that, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> It's yours, mate. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How good is that? How good is that? Coming <laughs> alive. I know you thought it was finished. I know you think I'm a cynic, but you know this shit only business. People like different as soon as you win it, man. I know this shit ain't no different. You pull up in cars, you act like it's yours, but we know that shit is just rented. Benefited it now, we the ones that your mommy bought. During competition prep, this has been absolutely amazing. If you actually look at the nutritional content, the calories are so incredibly low. Uh, and also, just the other thing, as you get draw closer to competition, you need to be conscious of sodium intake because of water retention. The sodium, uh, the sodium content of this uh, sriracha is actually relatively low, comparable to uh, other sources and condiments. So, if you're looking for a dieting hack during comp prep, assuming you like hot chili sauce, get your hands on some sriracha. So this is uh, a, a pre-workout meal that I'm having. I've got um, a, a lean source of protein with my bassa. So I've got the bassa, I'm having some asparagus, I'm infatuated with mushrooms, uh, and I'm having about 125 grams of basmati rice here. So my lean source of protein is the bassa, obviously helps to retain lean muscle mass, um, helps with recovery. Got the asparagus can help to re regulate water levels and it's my source of vegetables with the mushrooms. And then the basmati rice uh, serves as my uh, source of carbohydrates, my energy, uh, the energy source that I need to get through my training session.
Up, come on. Push. My man. Exercise on today's program is wide grip flat pull down. Uh, just because my energy levels are relatively low, I can't really do wide grip pull ups effectively with the required amount of volume that I want. So I'm using the wide grip lap pull down, looking at four sets of anywhere between 10 to 12, 12 to 15 repetitions. Volume is a little bit higher. Uh, looking at a 4-0-1-0 tempo. Four seconds uh, eccentric phase, one second concentric phase. Really focusing on time under tension. As I go through these high volume training sessions, I'm more inclined to reach muscle failure, uh, which means that I'm gonna be under fatigue and I may benefit from performing uh, forced reps or, or getting the assistance of a spotter to help me with the final few reps uh, just to take my muscles to uh, complete failure. Now, one of the important things is even if you're under fatigue and you're starting to reach muscular failure, you're still seeking to maintain the strict form and technique that you were executing at the start of your set. You don't want to fall into bad habits of using excessive amounts of momentum. So even if I'm starting to reach muscle failure towards the back end of a set and I'm getting a spot, I really endeavor to maintain that strict form and technique, maintain the same cues that I was executing at the start uh, and even if I do start to reach muscle failure, I'm not hauling the weight down with excessive amounts of momentum. Maintaining that strict form and allowing uh, the assistance of the spotter to help guide the weight down, uh, but not help me too much. Uh, it's very important to find that appropriate balance between getting enough assistance in order to uh, get the most out of the entire set, uh, but not allowing the spotter to do too much work. Uh, keep, keep those forced reps honest if that makes sense.
So at the moment with one week to go, my energy level is probably hovering around a three to be perfectly honest. Um, my carbs are actually high at the moment. I'm doing a front load, so the majority of my carbohydrates are at the start of the week and then I'll taper off as I reach towards uh, show day. Uh, consequently, my training performance is at a three and I guess that's that's you know in line with my strength being at a three. Um, it, you know, when your energy is relatively high because you've got the carbohydrates, your performance in the gym is going to increase. Um, and I, I think I'm just excited about the prospect of stepping on stage. So overall, feeling pretty good at this particular point in time. And I've, I've sort of gone through the stage of the prep that was probably going to be the hardest. And now it's just a case of relaxing um, and, and composing myself before uh, flying up to the Gold Coast on Wednesday. Sleep probably isn't where I want it to be. It's probably at about a one to two out of five. Um, but that's gonna change over the next week because as my training tapers off uh, and as I reduce my workload and the preparation to this competition, I'm just gonna prioritize it. I'm just gonna take more naps throughout the day um, and uh, prioritize just relaxing, recuperating and keeping cortisol levels at an all time low. Uh, hunger levels at the moment because carbohydrates are, are a little bit higher. They're actually okay and I think I've just adapted. So hunger's probably sitting around a three out of five. I'm really not that um, hungry or, or, or concerned with it. Food isn't a fixation at the moment because the end is in sight. Um, and I don't feel as though it's gonna be this big burden uh, to overcome. And because my carbohydrates are a little bit higher at the moment, my performance at the gym has increased and uh, the competition is one week away. My mood is sitting around a three out of five. The end is in sight. Uh, and I'm just eager, excited to get up onto the Gold Coast. So um, really looking forward to the next week ahead uh, to just put the final, final nail in the coffin that has been this competition prep. So we're moving into a high volume tricep, so three exercises performed consecutively. I'm doing a mid-grip neutral lat pull down, uh, followed by a seated cable row variation where I'm using two single arm cable attachments to get a greater squeeze and a greater um, extensive range of motion. Uh, looking at around 10 to 12 reps for the lat pull down, 12 to 15 repetitions for the seated cable row and finishing off uh, with straight arm cable pull downs looking at around 15 to 20 reps. So three exercises performed one after the other uh, designed to increase uh, the metabolic stress, increase the blood flow, get the pump going and effectively take my lats to failure. So it's absolutely phenomenal training at Kingdom Gym in Brookvale, one week out uh, from show day. Just the eclectic range of equipment at this facility, uh, it's, it's absolutely mind blowing. It's, it's a lot of the equipment that you find in a, uh, the large scale industrial sized gyms in America. And it's very rare, especially in a place like Sydney, to find such an extensive range of just different hammer strength equipment. Um, today, I, I feel like a kid in a candy store playing around with uh, different levers, attachments, angles uh, to target my back at various areas. Um, and, and a lot of these pieces of equipment, you, you just simply wouldn't be able to find. There's um, hammer strength equipment, there's Watson, there's Atlantis. Uh, you can really see that this uh, this gym and the manager has gone above and beyond in terms of uh, seeking out the best sort of equipment. So uh, if I lived a little closer to Kingdom Gym, 
I'd probably be frequenting here a whole lot more, but uh, during the summer, uh, I think you'll find me on the northern beaches a whole lot more because this gym's absolutely awesome. All right, so I'm here with the man of the moment, Lawrence Mendoza, two weeks out from his next competition, and he's got his eyes on the prize, ready for the Natural Olympia in Los Angeles in just a few short months. We are here flexing our heart for Lawrence, raising funds to try to get him over to Los Angeles. We're here at Kingdom Gym. We're pumping out a training session. Lawrence, how are you feeling? Two weeks out. I'm feeling happy. Feeling happy? Feeling great. <laughs> <laughs> Show us the front double bicep in preparation, two weeks out from competition. Front double bicep and strike. The only limits are the limits that you place on yourself. Live life on your terms, live life like Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> I've been too blind to see You were always there Right next to me I'll never let you go now I just want you to know how How good I feel now That I finally found you 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 I'll never let you go